Yo, what's up guys? It's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today, I really wanted to get off my chest all the thoughts and all about Secret Numbers latest and newest hairstyles for their upcoming comeback. They just straight up appeared stunning and all for their performance at the 2020 Asia Song Festival. Now, I know, I know guys, it's been so, so long since I've done any secret number related video, but please hang in there. Please be patient as I've been busy with my studies, trying to get things in place and uh, trying to have a new layout, new setup in this room. And at the same time, I've been really trying to catch up with all these other releases by other artists and such and all these albums. It's just so difficult, but straight up. Leia, okay, let's start with Leia's newest hairstyle with the aqua marine blue and all. If you guys remember my video way back when I did a fan call, one on one fan call with each and every member with all of Secret Number and all, I asked Leia what kind of hairstyle you're gonna try or you wanna do in the future or even for their comeback. And she said black hair. I want to I wanna ask you if uh, what kind of hair color you would like to change to. Like your hair color? Like for next time around, next comeback, maybe like red. What kind of hair color? Oh, red. Yeah, or what color? Yeah, blue, purple. Mm, black hair. I had a good laugh, but in my mind, I'm like, is she serious? Or... She just joking and it turns out she played me and she pulled out with the aquamarine blue hair. I think she really works it so well. She really does. And then we have Jenny. Man, I, I mean, I've seen all the posts pretty much by Nana um, every second day or pretty much every day that Nana posts and a lot of hairstyles that Ginny has worked and different hair colors and all, but seeing it come to light in the Hoodist performance alongside with the other members and all, super deadly. It really is. And I wonder if, hey, these hairstyles are playing along to their overall concept or theme that they're going for for this comeback and all. And then we have Denise. Super unexpected again with the pink hair. It was it's like a it's like a hot pink or something like that. And she just comes through, you know, seeing her come through with the her vocals and all and just everything. Looking all immaculate with all the members. I mean, sure, not all of them had Hairstyle changes and all, but this got me excited and all riled up. I'm not sure about you guys because that means this comeback is soon, soon. I mean, it could end up being the comeback announcement happening this week for um, probably early or mid November, is my um, wild guess. Uh, we shall see what happens though, but th those are my thoughts. I've seen the performance, trust me, I've seen their performance of Who This over and over again at this Asia Song Festival 2020 where so many other amazing artists, well-known artists, and underground artists performed and it's really good to see them shine on that and perform alongside many great artists. But other than that, I'm going to just sprinkle some of my commentary over their performance because I don't really think it's a reaction because I have seen it over and over again, seen it with my friends. Let's just get into it, shall we? All right, secret number, who this, their performance at 2020 Asia Song Festival. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yes, Dida. I really liked their outfits. 
for this performance. Uh, Sudam. Just how Leia breaks it down like that. Yes, Jenny. Who this? Man, this song still slaps. I mean, it's been a while since the release. But this song like aged like fine wine, I'm telling you. That. For real. Easy. Who is this? Who is this? Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Tired. And just how the stage is set up for them like that. The lighting and all. Yes, Denise. This part never gets old too in the song. That easy boy. Oh my goodness. Tell him, Ginny. The black hair and oh my, the, the pink hair and aqua. Memory. So good, guys. So good. I could keep playing this performance over and over again, just like as much as their performance at mud festival uh, you know boas number one and all oh my goodness my cheeks hurt okay but um secret number y'all they're out to get us i mean i i i seeing that the hairstyles are like this talking to my friends i'm just saying i'm gonna go crazy if they pull out something really throwback 80s like um retro or even going into the latest trend now synth wave type music with their title track and all because i could see that really happening with the the hairstyles and all and considering how it would really work well and transition from their debut of who this into their first ever comeback i mean it is what it is whatever happens is gonna happen hopefully it ends up uh being uh recepted well hopefully i end up um enjoying it because i think that's one of the worries is like first comeback is as important as the debut to really put down the foundations and lay out what you're all about as a group where regardless if it's a boy group or a girl group or a co-ed group at the end of the day that needs to happen right and i i am just excited okay on the other hand i am just super excited because it's been so long i mean 
I, I, we got so much content and all, and I, I'm just so grateful for Secret Number, and I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again, guys. But let me know how you guys think about Secret Number's latest and newest hairstyles about 2020 Asia Song Festival and their overall performance. I think they killed it, period, straight up. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep saying straight up, but really. I'm serious, guys. Secret number. This song, Who This, and now that I'm thinking about it and hearing it so much and seeing this performance after after so long, haven't seen uh, them uh, perform on a live stage, is just that I can look back on, on, on these great times and remember Who This and for what it is. Like I said earlier, it is aged like fine wine. It has really good replay value, and I hopefully their um upcoming release um has that same quality or depth to it or even better we shall see but this has been garrison guys have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon stay safe promise me though really it's crazy out there and as i say in most of my videos and i can't reiterate it enough be sure to educate yourselves of what is truly saddening and what's going on in the world right now. If you have not yet, be sure to. This has been Garrison. DJ Garrison, play that music and peace.